The historical data display component is used to display sampling data results in the form of tables, refreshing the results at a set frequency. Here in the program, we already have certain components selected, in which we can track the data for our sampling data. The historical data display component is used to display sampling data results in the form of tables, refreshing the results at a set frequency. To create the component, follow these steps. First, select the component from the menu bar by choosing Component, List, Historical Data Display to open the historical data display window. The data is sourced from data sampling, and you can configure it by clicking the graph icon. Add a description, and you can either select with the use of serial address or without. Choosing with serial address, it will add more detailed and customizable configuration for each data channel, including limits, statistics, and data type display. Without serial address, it's simpler setup with basic data display, without the detailed channel-specific configurations. Selecting without serial address can access the bit or word address. Meanwhile, selecting the serial address will just have word address. In the control settings, we can set the pause and clear control, as well as execute when specified window is opened and force sampling. Afterwards, set up the sampling mode if you want to have it in cyclic or triggered, in which cyclic mode is regular, interval-based updates. Good for continuous monitoring and triggered mode is event-based updates good for capturing specific events or changes. There is data records that you can also set. Data records are used to store and manage information collected over time. They help in analyzing historical data, generating reports, ensuring compliance, monitoring performance, troubleshooting issues, and backing up important information. Once done, configuring the data sampling property hit OK and then press OK again in the system settings. Set the bit address for pausing the refresh of sampled data. When the value is 0, the program will refresh the latest sampling data, and when it is 1, the refresh will pause. After pausing, the data will refresh again after the designated pause recovery time. Use the scroll bar to view the complete history data, adjusting its width as needed. Slide the screen to view the complete history data, applicable only to capacitive HMIs. Turn pages to view the complete history data by setting the word address where the page control information will be stored. Set the address of the column hiding register to control which columns are hidden, ensuring the number of columns does not exceed 16 to avoid compilation errors. Set the current display language for scenarios requiring multiple languages. Decide whether to use labels to display title bar description information and set the title bar description using labels or text libraries. You can also add sorting mode that can be selected in ascending or descending. Set the next parameters as you liking or leave it as default. Next, set the channel display settings by defining the lower and upper limits for displaying data, which can be constants or variables. When the actual sampled data is outside these limits, the current value will still be displayed, but you can set colors to indicate it is below or above the limits. Write the minimum, maximum, and average values of the current channel statistics to a specified word address. Set the display data type, including 16-bit and 32-bit binary numbers, and 16-bit and 32-bit hexadecimal numbers, and set the integer digits for the display, or you can enable number operation in which perform calculations on the data using the formula value write to PLC, HMI display value, chao. To configure the table tab, start by selecting the background color for the table and the title bar. Decide whether to disable the outline of the table and set the style and width of the table outline. Configure the style and width of the split lines within the table, and choose to display row split lines, column split lines, or both. Set the color for odd rows to differentiate them from even rows. If you select the Table Printing Settings option, additional settings for table printing will appear. These include options to print the header and footer windows, as well as the maximum, minimum, and average values. Then, select the Search tab and configure parameters by enabling the search function and setting the search method by date, time range, sequence, or keyword. 
The value of the specified word address register determines the query mode. Set the bit address for triggering the query. When the value is 1, display the filtered results based on the query conditions. Set the word address of the query condition register to store the query conditions. Set the bit address of the trigger register to export the data as a CSV file. Set the export location for the CSV file, HMI or USB1, and the value of the specified word address register to determine the register setting location. Customize the subdirectory name if the option to use a variable as the subdirectory name is not checked. Write the progress value, 0, 100, of the CSV file export to the progress indicator register. Choose the export method by day or single file, and set a password if needed, using a decryption tool to generate a normal CSV file. You can set the same parameters for exporting it in PDF file. Finally, configure the display properties to customize the appearance and behavior of the historical data display component. Click OK to save the settings, then click anywhere in the window to insert the historical data display component. To finalize, we can download the project and get to set it to the simulation.